Hey guys, welcome back to the all negative traits character. The character who started out as crap, but now he has less crap. He's got 28 negative traits, but now it's actually gone down to 27 negative traits because on my skills, I've actually farmed some strength. It's it's sort of like a Imagine your rocky, like, training montage. That's what's kind of occurred between yesterday and today. And, uh, we reached strength level 5, and I'm about to show you how I did that pretty quickly without, you know, spending hours and hours on it. Uh, it's an XP farm, like, method that I've heard about a lot, but I've not really known how to control until I talked to one of you guys in the comments, thanks to Surviving Gamer, I'm about to show you right now. If you don't really care about farming XP, just skip ahead, because, uh, I mean, it's... Like, it kind of blew my mind when I first learned about it. Okay, so, uh, here's the thing. Most of the time when you want to gain XP for, like, fitness and strength, you push a tree. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it. You could either just hold down space, in which case you move a little bit away from the tree, or you could hold down the direction of the tree, in which case you just stand in place, but you still have to sit there and do it. Uh, and that's how I'd done it previously, but I didn't know that you can do this. Uh, if I just sit here and I push toward the tree, and then you actually speed up time and then you use the control key so you speed up time and then you use the control key and you can actually like do exercise in fast motion since exercise takes hours and hours and hours and hours to get better and this character is actually basically incapable of running i think this is a perfectly legit way to do like a fitness montage and the other way that i learned how to do it was by building a box so if you push a tree and i'll just show this really quickly um if I push this tree, whichever way I speed up the game, if I go too fast, it'll do what it did before. Or if I go only at one time speed, it's actually going to move me away slightly. Kind of like it did at normal motion. So what I thought I could also do, and I haven't seen anybody do this, but I'm sure somebody's thought of it before me. I don't know who. Um, but you can actually just build a box, speed up time one times, and then do that. And then you could just like put your phone on the key walk away and do something else, but don't starve <laughs> or get, like, die of thirst in that time because you might have to babysit your character. Um, but what I did notice was that my strength went up way, 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 way faster than my fitness. Um, I think it's on the order of, like, 20 or 25 times faster. <laughs> but I don't know if that applies to the method where I was doing, like, this thing. Like, you know, when I did this, this thing, I think they go up at more steady rates or more equal rates, but... I don't know, kind of crazy. I had never seen anything like that before, so I thought it was just worth sharing. I don't know if it'll stay in the game or what, but it's kind of like a cool way to use the time controls. And another thing you can do is, and I didn't know that I could do this, but it kind of changes the way I look at the game, is you can actually queue walking orders. So it kind of, it's kind of like, you know how you could queue orders in RimWorld and other games like that, or like an RTS? So you could do this, and if you are completely exhausted, that's another way to train your fitness. Probably doesn't do it quite as much as speeding it up more times, only because the game goes so much faster when you go to three times or four times, and who knows, maybe you're wasting some resources, but, you know, a lot of people sometimes tell me, like, ah, there's, like, it gets boring after a while, so if you want to kill some of the monotony, yeah, that's a good way to do it, um, because I also don't really like to, like, spend too much time farming fitness and strength, but now that I figure out how to do it, it's way better. Um, anyway, I'm going to rest here really quickly because there is one last thing I want to show. Um, oh, actually, I could do that before this. So, they just added in a new patch, and this actually means that you can use your tool belt to add, or you can do this with your tool belt. You just have to hold down the key. That's the number of the tool belt. I thought it was really cool, and it actually makes the HUD of the game a lot more usable. Um, axe or remove axe, but you could just add or remove whatever's in your inventory. Since I've only got, like, two or three things that could go onto my tool belt right now, this is like is okay but some of you guys have been like use your tool belt more so it kind of makes sense now that i could do it um and our carrying weight is actually not abysmal anymore we have like 11 or 10 i think it's i think it's like 11 or maybe even 12 when we're not so hungry for our carry weight um i'm severely depressed so i'm just gonna make a bunch of berry salads and then i think we're gonna head out for today but this character is not crap anymore He's actually a pretty decent character, and I found an axe now, so he should be able to survive in combat. And my real goal for today is to get that, like, uh, where is it? To get our fitness. No, actually, no, not our fitness. I'll do that again later. I'll have him do more push-ups or something like that. But I want him to get his uh, kill count. I want his kill count to go higher. Basically, I think that we could probably kill, could probably kill 50 zombies today if we really put our minds to it. But I'm not going to count on quite that many. All right, I'm just going to do some foraging, and then uh, I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm not totally happy anymore, or yet, but uh, I am less depressed. I'm not severely depressed, I'm just depressed, but some of you guys were giving me this kind of cool tip uh, that I want to show off here too, and I did actually just make some uh, poison berry salads, uh, and you can add, if they're fresh, like one poison berry occasionally, maybe like once a day or something like that, to a salad, and you actually won't die, you won't get sick, and it's also going to increase the salad's fun, so... Um, there is a use for poison berries to a certain extent, and that does help me get rid of my depression faster. Eating, strangely enough, eating poison berries helps me with that. Can I actually do that with the rotten ones? Okay, so I can't do it with the rotten ones. That's crazy. I thought that I could do it with rotten ones. Okay, so then these ones are just sitting here, but what I should have done with these, at least I'm pretty sure about that, um, but yeah, I should have just put poison berries into a salad and just pour them on the ground if I got way too many of them, because that's free cooking skill. Uh, but anyway, the more you know, right? Uh, I think at this point, I'm, am I severely depressed again? How am I so severely depressed all the time? I don't really want to go into combat if I'm this depressed. But I don't really want to keep on searching through the woods for things. Uh, I might go if I... Because I'm just trying to get rid of, like, one more debuff before I go in. Because I know there's going to be tens of zombies at this point. Uh, so I really don't want to encounter them as my old self, you know? Like, new year, new you. Um, but... <laughs> But I want to, and let's just grab these. I do want to demo this for a second. Now, I wouldn't eat these ones because they've been sitting here for a day. And they might actually be more poisonous or something like that. But are these ones good? No, those ones are rotten. Okay, I should be able to search in a larger area around me, too. That was one of the patch notes, I think. Uh, so we'll take these. And now I should be able to, yep, create fruit salad from random fruits. So now... We'll just add a lot of these. This is going to be a very poisonous salad. I'm going to need to be careful not to eat this. <laughs> okay, we've got perhaps the most poisonous salad of all time here. Unhappiness plus 25. That's probably because they've been sitting there. And... Pour on ground. That's like when I first read The Bleach in this game. It's like, uh... Unhappiness plus 25. Like, huh, I wonder what that means. But, okay, so we got foraging... Uh, foraging... We could forage more... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to forage more. And one thing I wanted to say, I'll zoom through this, but um, there are foods in the game where it can fill you more, but you don't actually gain as much weight with it because they don't have as many calories. So, for example, uh, I was debating on whether I should eat worms or berries, and it was actually better to eat berries because they're slightly more filling. I mean, obviously, they won't make you unhappy, and that's a good reason to eat them, but also... They're slightly lower in calories, and they also fill your stomach more. Uh, and this is kind of similar to in real life, like how if you eat a lot of carbohydrates, you feel more full uh, and refreshed. But if you eat a lot of, say, protein, for example, you'll still feel hungry. Um, so, like, it does go to that level of depth, and there are macronutrient breakdowns for all foods if you really want to get into it. I might take Nutritionist for one of my next playthroughs. Come to think. Wait, oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, we'll keep on foraging. And then once we are either less depressed or 85 kilograms, because I am still losing weight, one or the other, whichever one happens first, hopefully both at the same time, uh, then I'm going to go back. Okay, I really hope that it doesn't kill me, uh, otherwise I'll look like an idiot, but I should be able to do this one more time. I just want to show you, like, this is a really, really key thing if you do try to play a character like this. Um, I'm going to add this fruit. And then I'm sure I'm going to mess up something here, but let's try one poison. Uh, I want to make sure it's the right poison berry. Okay, we've got three of those, and they're all in the same condition. Because if I do one that's rotting, I think it might actually be more poisonous. Um, and then I'm going to add this one. And what this is actually doing to the berry salad is the unhappiness just went from negative 10 to negative 15. So that's actually more fun to eat poison ber Weird that it's more fun to eat poison berries, I know, but... I think I can get away with eating one. I wouldn't eat more than one in a day, though, so I'm probably just going to throw these in the bowl and then chuck them. But, yeah, crazy hack to get more cooking skill, lose more unhappiness, and so on. All right, well, my character is actually getting this problem where he's severely depressed, and I... Oh, wow. What even just... I think that was from running through the trees? I've been having, like, weird scratches like that. Like, I got scratched on my neck by a tree, and I almost died from it before. It was it was awesome, but it was also terrifying because I had no clue what was going on. The neck pain is just because I slept in on a bench. 
Um, actually, we should be able to get that bed downstairs before too long, except that we haven't done anything for carpentry. Eventually, we will. Um, but I think I'm going to do this, only because I did say I want to get one more Moodle... Or one more, not Moodle. I did want to get this Moodle off, which I think you can get off just by running around outside. But uh, I will be doing that if I just farm more XP. So I think I want to get a little bit more uh, fitness and strength. And then hopefully I'll be less depressed. And then I can go to bed one more time. And then tomorrow I can go uh, west. The one thing I am starting to think of is I did get the cold Moodle one day. So I think that the season is starting to change. I still haven't found a watch, ironically. But um, if the season does change, then I'm going to need to start working on carpentry really fast. The reason I'm not so focused on it is because you can pretty quickly work through carpentry. Now let's see, our depression is... Is our depression going away from doing this? It looks really wacky. My depression would go away if I were doing this. Uh, the weird part is that if I do encounter a zombie, it looks as if I'm moving fast, but I'm actually moving really, really slow, and I, I will probably get seriously, seriously into my into trouble if I do this. Okay, so our depression is not going away. So at this point, you know what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go back to sleep, and I'm going to head over to town, and I'm going to see if running around outside does decrease my depression. Because in general in life, and in Zomboid, running around outside gets rid of depression. If you have it, just go for a walk. <laughs> I, I swear, many years of walks. All right, so we're going for a run to the place where we just were. Um, we're going to try to see if we can find anything in the town. I am back down to 85 now, so fence hopping should be an option if there are any fences. I don't believe there are fences around here, though, because there's not that much property sectioned off. Did I accidentally throw down some... Looks like I accidentally threw down some red uh, orange berries the other day. I don't really need them, so I think I might just let them rot. I, I don't really trust any berries that have been sitting for days. Uh, but I actually don't have to time-lapse the walking anymore, because I can just do this. Um... I hadn't really thought of this before, but you can just queue walk orders, so. I mean, you can only do it with what's on screen, but I can kind of lead you through my my walking and my talking now. Uh, let's go here. And if you don't know how to do this, because a lot of people ask me, like, what are you doing to speed up time? I'm just pressing F1 whenever I do that. So it speeds up time. And this actually isn't that dangerous. Only if they, like, came up from right behind me would it be. Because now behind hits are really, really dangerous. But, um, pretty much any zombie walking speed is going to be no faster than my walk. At least as far as I can think of. It would be weird if I came up on them at, like, a corner or something, though. So try to stay out in the open here. Okay, now I'm probably not going to use it anymore. Now, they should be up here. I think my main thing is that, like, when I get back to these houses, there's probably going to be a lot having respawned over here because there is pretty... A pretty hefty amount of respawning in the game, and I'm also ridiculously tired, so that's, that's only really affecting my sight lines and my combat, but I'm, I'm not well off. Oh yeah, I believe I did say in the last video that I didn't know why my Moodles were like wiggling around, but it turns out that that's actually a good way of showing players now what is affecting your combat. So um, I think I had anxiousness, tiredness, or fatigue, and what was it like panicked affecting my combat? So panic makes you less accurate. Ty I don't really know what tiredness is. I think it just, in general, makes your hits weaker. And I'm guessing the same thing with agitated. I really need to read back up on those, but... A lot of people have been saying, like, make a guide, make a guide. And I'm like, ah, I wish, but the game has been changing so much so lately. So. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, if I, if I were to do one, though, I would... I would want to do it justice, because there have been some... Oh, damn! Duffel bag. Is that better than my current one? That'd actually be great to find another bag. Uh, capacity 14, and this one's capacity 12. I'm gonna put a bag in my bag, but I'm not gonna use it. I, I could equip this to secondary. Actually, I don't know if there is an animation for carrying a bag in your hand. I've not... Personally, I've not tried it yet. I don't really care. I, I wouldn't even want to have one there. Okay, we got rotten milk, a saucepan. Now, you can cook with rotten ingredients when you're better at cooking, but... Uh, you have to be ridiculously good at cooking, and I probably won't get there anytime soon. Ooh, rice. It's actually not that bad. Okay. One thing I'm doing, I'm since I've been using F1 more now to speed up time, I'm just going to speed up time by a little bit, because his dexterous makes it pretty, pretty friggin' annoying to pick anything up, because it just takes him forever. Or what is it? All thumbs, yeah. That's probably one of the most annoying traits. That, and I think anything with, like, fatigue. 
Most of the other traits I can get over at this point. I think nearsightedness does like nothing. Yeah, there's there's really or like it it decreases your arc of vision, I'm told now. But most of this is just from what I learned from you guys. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm going to wash everything because I haven't washed myself in a long time. It's just going to feel good. Okay, good clean clothes. Probably should have saved those for when I got some really good clothes. But what I really want to do is get like a character who's all decked out in the tailored clothing now because I've seen some of the patchwork on it, and it does look really cool. Um, okay, vitamins is actually really good. I'm surprised that... I guess they must have migrated from this area, but that's the reason why I left in the first place. Uh, because they do tend to move around when you're gone. Okay. Should I shave? Uh, I'll think about that when I get home. It's because I've just been spending so much time in the bathroom. I want to shave that scruffy beard off. See him... I'm trying to figure out which character he resembles now. I kind of like him with the mask on, though. It's also very protective. Uh, nobody around here. Wow, that actually went away really fast. I'm going to try to take this one out with the axe. No. I think axe... Like, I'll try to stick to good weapon classes. But I don't know if I'll find another one. Maybe this axe will be good? I don't know, maybe we can take her up, take her out when we're standing up now. I am at strength, like, four or five now. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Tiredness, panic, and agitated. All affecting combat. Now we kind of have a... I don't know if... I guess depressed doesn't. I think depressed, since they put that indicator in, it must only affect the speed at which you transfer items and do actions. Uh, so my character is already really slow at doing things, but if I try to put these vitam yeah, vitamins from my main inventory to my backpack, it actually takes even longer than it would normally. And that's because of the depression. Since I'm depression, I can't move things around as quickly. I am very sorry if you are depressed. For the record. I feel- Ooh! <laughs> Goodbye! Okay. Still scared of two. Uh, is that two or three? What are we dealing with here? Okay, um, still scared of you. I'm gonna use- I'm still gonna compromise weapon durability just for the sake of safety. Ooh, man, we are really not doing too well. Uh, I'm- I'm thinking it's mainly the tiredness and the panic and so on and so forth. Um, oh, and I did make a mistake in one of the last videos because I did say that you couldn't overdose on vitamins, but apparently you can, so don't- don't do that. I just wanted, like, little- Medical, medical message, in case if any of you take my advice. Okay, let's, um... This is fine because I'm not tired, but if I do get tired, I'm going home. I'm still not risking too much because I'm still scared of zombies, and I've killed only, like, ten at a really good strength. Alright, let's try the axe, though. Oh! Whoa! Still don't think you got a hit, but it is much easier for them to do that now. All right, goodbye. To be fair, I should not have turned my back right there because back hits are way weaker. Oh, and the reason why my jacket's gone, I used it for rags or something like that. I can't even remember. But the thing is for me, I don't even really feel like the scratch defense is so much. I feel like it's more based on the mechanics now. Looks like we're starting to get saplings growing up here. Okay, let's just try kind of like winding back as we hit. Don't... No need to hit them whenever they get in range, only when I feel comfortable. Yeah, still not getting any of those... I mean, I'm getting satisfying blood, but I'm not getting what I want. I want, like, a, a good crack, you know? Nah, that wasn't it. That wasn't it either. Is that it? There may be an element of timing here, though, that I'm missing. See, this is what I mean. Ooh, this is what I mean. Alright, I'm just gonna focus on these two for a second. Now this is weird. I just pushed that one to the ground and he's just staying on the ground. I may have killed- that may be the first time I've ever killed a zombie by pushing him over. I- I don't even know what's- I'm kind of scared to what- okay, there he is. He became a crawler. Like, I swear, sometimes that throws me off so much when they become craw- okay, here we go. He's not- that's not- I'm hitting hitboxes, aren't I? I don't really worry too much about the crawler's hitboxes anymore now, and I don't know if I'm wrong for this, but it seems like as long as you can just keep on stopping them, they don't get the- Ooh, wow. Ooh, wait, no, that's because there was a second crawler. Jesus Christ. Holy shit balls. 
Uh, goodbye. Goodbye, both of you. I don't even want to fight them, to be honest. I we're at moderate, we're at moderate exertion, and I almost just got bit by a crawler. Uh, what do I even have on? I, do, I have the military boots. That probably kept me safe there. That was kind of close, though. Can't believe I didn't see that. All right, let's go home, uh, and we'll just try again tomorrow. I'm still, like, I may be able to swing the weapon faster, but I'm still not particularly good at anything, remember. Uh, he's still terrible with all of the weapons, and he's still just... He has no... Sh he's all grow areas. He's no, no strong suits. Okay, turns out that was actually a great time to run because my character did start walking at the slowest possible speed right after that. Yeah, see, it's starting to get cold. I think it must be because we started out in, I believe, July. So I think I've been alive for over a month now. I, probably well over a month. We're probably getting close to September at this point. So, uh, sorry, I'm so tempted to start seeing Earth, and, Earth, Wind, and Fire. But, <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what I forgot? I wanted to shave off this. Let's at least maintain the beard. I'll keep the beard to signify growth, you know. He's changed in some way. He's a dynamic character. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to go back to where I came from. Let's go here. We still got neck pain from the sleeping. That was weird. Okay, let's change. You know what? Let's, let's try some chops this time, shall we? Take off the mask. And throw that in the backpack. All right, ah, uh, I don't, it looks a little too much like Lincoln, but, uh, I'm, I'm okay with that, you know? <laughs> maybe, maybe he evolves into Lincoln or something like that. Uh, I'm keeping multiple bottles, bottles of water on me at this point, too. Um, and we aren't really getting that encumbered thing, so I'm not too worried about that, but let's just try to go back into town again. Okay, you may not be able to use vitamins forever like this in real life, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to do anything to kill me. So I'm going to just finish taking all of my vitamins for the day. And the reason I'm doing that is because it can make me less tired. Um, so now I have, have I had all of the vi- Okay, I've had all of the vitamins, so I'm going to be less tired. Slightly more effective in combat, and we really- Like, we really just need to find a lighter. Because that's going to get rid of three moodles at this point. So I'm just going to keep on looking for that. We will go back, we will kill those crawlers. Uh, and I think we can even afford to keep most of this stuff on us, right? Soap, I brought it with me, that's fine, I could just leave it on me. I can afford to carry a lot of this stuff, and I don't think I'm going to bring anything back that's particularly heavy. Uh, but I left the rice and other, like, heavy stuff back there. Alright, so we're slightly peckish, that's fine. Actually, at this point, we may as well... We may as well just continue eating worms, because if we're this depressed, it's not gonna... Like, there's a ceiling to depression, it doesn't get any worse than that. Um, did I check these ones, though? Oh. Nope, they are still active. Okay, now the reason why crawlers are dangerous is because they don't... Like, it takes less for them to, to get a good bite in. And they also, they hit your foot protection. You don't always... Like, some people neglect foot protection. Mm, yeah, and then they can turn like that. I do hate that. The older crawlers were much easier to fight. These ones are, are different, but I'm just gonna... I'm gonna boogie with them. Okay, what you might notice is that that was one of the, probably one of the most problematic combat situations in this game because fighting one crawler alone, I think I've figured out with the new build, you just have to constantly be putting hits on it. it I don't even think it really matters which side of it you're on, but when you're fighting two together, one can sneak up on you, which is why I was so scared before when I had a second one come up because I, like, I was really, really surprised I didn't get bit there. Uh, that wasn't careful. I'm also gonna start wearing a sweater now, I think. Only because the weather is getting worse, and we'll also replace our t-shirt. Okay, uh, I kinda liked our old clothes, but... Uh, we'll get used to this. Our character's actually starting to look... Like... like he, he didn't look the part before, but now he does look like he's survived in a zombie apocalypse. So let's replace these socks with these ones, because all of our clothing is just in general in bad condition. Eventually we can use that for fires and I haven't really made it through a winter with an antique stove yet, but I don't I don't know what kind of fuel I need or what. Um, or if we need lighters, ooh, that wouldn't be good either. But what would be really good at this point would be if we could find some scissors. We are under high exertion though, so now I don't want to give up the whole day because it's still worth it to come over here, but if I see any of them, I'm probably not going to go in much more. Um, I am going to want to be careful with that, too. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to double check these houses, and then I'll head back. 
Okay, there are still zombies at these houses, and I'm highly exerted, so I'm going back at this point. I'm just gonna... Let me just do walk to. We should be able to do that. Now, we should outwalk her, because we still have a little bit left. Yeah, alright, so I made it away from her. And I'm gonna come back tomorrow when I'm not as so tired anymore. Okay, our character has not really changed too much between yesterday and today. I think the only thing is that now I have access to better food because of what I just found in that place. And I could start to make rice dishes, but I still think it's gonna take me a- Oh, what was that? What did I just level up in? Was that axe or was that with- Okay, that was with maintenance. Maintenance is still good because if we manage to find a katana or another weapon that's really, really good from level 1, and we just need to worry about its condition, then we'll be- We'll be in good shape with combat with that, and then I would stick to that class, but... Really, just like, katanas and machetes. If we could find one or the other, that would be... that would be the ultimate weapon. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna go back over here, and there should be one... There should be a couple more houses over here, and there's also the Pony Romo up the street. I've never gotten so much out of just a few buildings in any playthrough, because usually... I'm so focused on getting from place to place, though you could really do with very little space in Project Zomboid, and I'm trying to work this out right now, but there is a challenge where if you have a few items, you might actually be able to just stay inside of one house, like, for an entire season, like, you never leave the house. I'm trying to- f I'm still working on the details, uh, and, like, how to make it interesting, <laughs> but surviving in one house, you know, without eating the worms outside would be pretty freaking crazy, and I, I think it would involve cabbages. Um, but I don't know how to make the house, like, hot enough yet. I've been talking it over with one of my friends. Um... Okay, lumberjack shirt. That's actually great for us. We needed, like, some sort of overshirt to wear. These baggy jeans, are they better than my current baggy jeans? Current baggy jeans are about the same. Okay, so then we'll leave that. Socks, tank top. Tank top? Yeah, I think I have a really dirty tank top on. I'll grab that. Alright, we're getting a whole... whole new set of clothes. Um, okay, we got two up there, but I think I'm just gonna try not to aggro those at all if I can. Man, like, this character's range of sight is insane. That's gotta be like 30, 30 or 45 degrees. Usually you have about, like, just under 180. I'd say you have like 170 or 160. Uh, I'm still not sure about this, whether it's the character's strength or what. It must be the tiredness that influences that, because he's had a hard time with windows. And he still kind of does from day to day, and it hasn't gotten much better. Okay, uh... Normally I'd crawl- I'd call out, but I've got so many, like, bad traits, like, conspicuous, that I feel like I'd rile up the whole neighborhood if I did that. Otherwise, yeah, I would be more careful here. Okay, painkillers are good. Um, I can't really think of when we've had- we haven't really had the pain moodle that much. Very rarely, only when we wake up with neck pain. Because we can't sleep upstairs. What kind of idiot would prefer a bench downstairs to a bed upstairs in a still decently sized room? I guess I guess my character must be extremely claustrophobic. And not mind a bad back for a long time. Okay, alarm clock. Now, if I bring this into my inventory, I think it gives me the time, but not how long I've survived. Okay, oh, so it actually gives me the date, too. We know what day it is. I've survived for two months then. Okay, let's, uh... I'm gonna turn the- okay, the alarm is off. That's fine. Um, wow. Okay, so now I know how long I've survived. Now, that's not gonna give me, like, the Fahrenheit Celsius, uh, or, you know, aka temperature, but... Man, we've si we've survived for two months with this character. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. I mean, I, I was almost right on the money. I said I thought it was almost September, so... I mean, that was a total guess. Well, I'm surprised. Um, I would prefer a watt still because I think it's lighter. How much does the alarm clock weigh? 0 0.5. 0 0.5 kilograms. And I think a watch is lighter. And it also gives you temperature, which is nice. But now you have wind chill, and I can kind of just feel. So I don't really need to know the exact degree. But, hey, two months isn't bad. The other thing that's kind of weird is that it doesn't actually give you time survived when you've got the clock, even though that I can see the date, so I know how long I've survived. Alright, I'd feel- I'd feel justified if I tried one more house today. Now, let me just avoid this corner. Corners are always- Corners are the worst. You get bit on- you get bit on corners all the time. 
Okay, this house looks... The reason I'm, I'm going so carefully like this is because there's so much more back and side vulnerability now that, like, things that used to trip me up and I could quickly take them out. Like, if there was a zombie right there sitting down and I couldn't see him, I could have reacted really quickly. And I have decently good reaction time. I've checked it. I used to do FPS training. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know why, but I used to do a lot of FPS training. They actually just updated Kovacs if you play that. But, ooh, antidepressants. Not bad. But yeah, I can't even use reaction now. Like, you, you have no chance to react. You just get scratched. If that happens to you. Alright, eventually I will want to take apart these TVs and come back into these houses. But I want to clear out the area before I start getting set up with all that kind of stuff. Okay, cooking pot is actually pretty good. We, I think we get access to a few more recipes with that. Once again, I'm pretty inexperienced in cooking in this game. I don't want to give you the impression that I am. There's still some... T <gasps> Lighter! Okay, we needed that. We needed that really, really bad, and it's in full condition. I've heard from a number of you guys, too, who have played as Smoker, that you run out of lighter fluid before you run out of cigarettes. So I guess that my current problem is not all that uncommon. Uh, extra water bottles are always good. And that's actually really good for... I was going to say the strength fitness training because you do need to keep a lot of water on you if you're a high thirst character when you're doing that. Okay, the empty mug is good too. I did have a tea bag, but if we find coffee, we can start making cups of coffee. Bowl. I, oh, another bowl is good. Grab that. I can have a whole plethora of salads ready to go in my fridge for on the go. Did I just rhyme go with go? I can't even remember what I said. Okay, how to use generators, unfortunately, is not useful to me because... Uh, I can't read. <laughs> I, I can't imagine what people must think. Ooh, hiking bag. Wait, do I currently have a hiking bag or is it a large? Okay, I thought it was a... Darn. It'd be really nice to find like a military rucksack at this point. Ah, well. Um, I do not remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah, it would be really strange if you came into this video series and it was your first video and you just had no clue what was going on. So if you, if you happen to be that guy, go back to the beginning. All right, this house looks... This is actually a pretty good house. Um, I'm trying to think. I got the freezer. I think I got just about everything. I could deconstruct furniture and so on, but I'm not taking my chances too much with that. Let's just have a cigarette. I've been waiting, I think, a month to have a cigarette, and I'm still currently addicted to smoking. Now, how he smokes it through the welder's mask... I don't know. Can you do that? No, you should... There's no, like, hole in a welder's mask. Well, in case if you need to smoke. Let's just let some of the incredibly hot metal into your face. I don't think they would take that risk. Okay, I'm still depressed because uh, that's just a mood effect that's going to carry over. But I'm no longer anxious. The panic is from being outside. The extreme panic now after two months hasn't, go hasn't gone away. So I suppose that agoraphobic and claustrophobic... This is the skill panel. I just suppose that those two things are just what I have to live with. I'm still out of shape, but I lost another Moodle. And now I'm hungry, ridiculous. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good. I think I'm just gonna sit down and think about what to do next. Uh well I'm tired. I'm thinking if there's a way I could get rid of that. I could probably that bring that down to a slightly less tired. Just thinking, because you know, I'm gonna be fighting more fights now. I may have achieved all my goals. Once I once I find more lighters. <laughs> I need to use I need to keep this lighter useful. I need to find more lighters while I still have this one. Did I even check that house? I have to go over to that house now. Oh wait, no, I, I literally just checked that house. Wow, short-term memory loss is real. Okay, let's see. Extreme panic, hungry, severely depressed, ridiculously tired. Probably not a great time to fight three zombies, so I think I'm just going to leave those ones. Scout out the Pony Romo and then go home. Alright, it wasn't empty. I found one more here, but it, it honestly looks like it's just... Unless if there's one in that house... I really wish that there was some way of knowing if zombies are in a house. Uh, but I think I'm gonna fight this one and then go- Ooh! So easy! So easy! I never thought I'd say that. That is so good! Ah, I had this problem for so long. Just being a total weakling. I think I'm hitting her- yeah, there we go. Ooh, denim shirt's really good. That's actually a fantastic pickup. Uh, long socks, don't really care about. I could keep replacing my current clothing with, you know, clothing that I find, but that would just start to get annoying after a while. Oh, damn, is that one of the car? Now, I know that they added in car spawn events, but... I didn't know if they would apply to old worlds. 
I'm still excited about the like this thing that I can do the you know the tool belt hot bar. Man, that would be really cool if we if we could spot one of those here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, they added like roadblocks and other apocalyptic car events to the game. Um, very very recently. Let's see, severely depressed. I'm, I'm just so preoccupied with those. Wow, I am. Quite frankly, I'm very surprised there's none around here. We may have just found a car. Police cruisers are usually a decent bet, but their car crashed. Okay. Anything, there's some perfume and a red pen. Like a really sexy teacher was in this car or something. Okay, uh, engine status. Well, I got a key, and you know what else I got back at home? I got gas. I officially have a car. And not a bad one either, a police police car. With a box of 9mm bullets in the trunk. We may become a gun-wielding man next. Wow, I cannot believe the luck on this. Tissue all grab. I'm surprised I haven't been affected by sickness more. Alright, let's go home. Uh, we'll bring back the gas can and then... I'm surprised this place was not loaded with zombies, but I officially have a car now. And uh, one with a full tank of gas, but we gotta keep capitalizing on that before we uh, do something really dumb and get scratched a bit. Now, what did I tell you? My depression went away from walking around outside. I didn't even need to use the antidepressants. Depressments. Depressants. Okay, so we're gonna take that. Uh, I'm just gonna organize my inventory. Let's. I've really been a slob in here. Like this area is not well organized. And if I were to, if I were making this my base, I would probably do it like in a in a better way. But I I just don't. Uh, I've I've been so preoccupied with working out and making this character stronger in that way that it's not really crossed my mind. I'm surprised that nobody's said like your entire base is filthy because look at this place. It's it looks like a mole man lives here. Okay, let's nothing against moles, but you know. That's the way they live. Uh let's see, tissues, polo neck sweater, hiking bag, don't need any of this. So now we're just tired and hungry. That's way better than we were. But well, it takes two months, but after two months your character can actually be decent again. Like this feels like a level one character, because he's got his strength is normal. The fitness is normal, so as long as I manage combat all right, I'm pretty much fine in it. It's pretty much like a level one character now. All right, uh, ooh, oops, I'm forgetting the gas. All right, let's go gas up this car, and we officially have a car now, as long as there's nothing wrong with it. All right, so we've got the gas ready, and now we're just gonna see if we can gas up this car. Go to V, add gas. And I forgot that it takes him 10 hours to do everything. <laughs> I wish that the that the Moodles wiggled whenever they did something, because there are little subtleties that I still don't fully get. Yeah, look at that. That's the amount of time that it takes him to get the gas can out of his backpack. Probably, I mean, if you had a gas can in your backpack, it would probably take you that long, but... I don't know. It's It seems gratuitous. Okay. Car is gassed. Let's make sure there's nothing outstandingly wrong with it. Let's just go into lock hood. Uh, I guess, uh, actually, I don't really even know. I've never seen this option before, to be honest. Um, vehicle mechanics. Now, I mean, obviously you don't want to keep the trunk open. Okay, everything's in terrible condition, but we can, You know what? We can treat this car like ourselves. You know, we were like this car when we first started off. <laughs> so many things wrong with us. Uh, the, one, the one thing I am really kind of iffy about is the tires. All right, I could have done a little bit more vehicle deconstruction here, but what I'm thinking is that this car is going to give out pretty soon. Uh, I won't... I'll probably park it back at my farm and then just, like, leave it there because it's it's, it's probably going to get me killed faster than anything else. Um, but let's just... Does it drive? It does drive! So it does work, but we're going to want to take this car and we're going to want to replace its parts all with new ones. Uh, I think I'm going to park this back at my home. Yeah, look at that. But this is actually going to let us deal with larger hordes if, in theory, we we do manage to get it into better shape soon. Um, I think... is it here? Alright, I think that this is the path to our home. If it's not, I'm just going to be led astray. And you got to drive carefully because there's actually saplings growing all over the roads. And by this point in the game... yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that usually means death. So I'm going to need to drive around all of that. Go really, really slow. 
I swear, playing this character has made me go like four times slower at everything, but I've not gotten in any trouble. I've, I've made half the number of stupid mistakes. And even like the few I've had, you know, he's managed to survive, like that one with the uh, two crawlers right there. So we've gotten lucky, but I also think it's, I think it's a, a rise in skill that I haven't experienced. And we just hit another sapling. Right as I was saying, a rise in skill. All right, uh, we're gonna park this at the house. God damn it! I want to know what a police car would look like if I put it on my farm. Like of all the cars, this is probably the coolest one to get. Unfortunately, we broke the windshield immediately. But uh, what I can do with this is to just deconstruct it and then reconstruct it, and that's actually going to get it a little bit better. And I did not notice that sapling either. As you will notice throughout, I am a terrible driver, but when the time comes, I can be a very good action driver. Until my car gives out. What the fuck happened there? Alright, I think that the engine just broke out. <laughs> so, no more car! But we do have a car on the farm, we can practice on this car. And, uh, I can use- are, are you serious? Did this thing just give out? Oh wait, no, it was just- Oh, this reminds me how in certain multiplayer servers, the key would just randomly- Wow, that is impressively bad. Am I hurt? Was it all just that one tiny sapling? Yeah, you really gotta look out for- I really gotta look out for those things. Okay, uh, there is a way that you can get rid of them, though. Uh, what I might have to do is... I think if you dig furrows in the ground, it actually prevents saplings from growing, so I'm gonna go on a little sapling hunt in our driveway next time. Damn, I probably damaged the vehicle, but... You know, we'll, uh, we'll take it slow with this new car next time, and, uh... We'll try to start taking apart other cars just so we can start hot wiring other ones because this isn't going to last long and I need other tool parts. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate all the fun like stories that people have come up <laughs> with this character. Probably the best one that you go riding back into town on a giant worm. Uh, but yeah, keep it up with that. And uh, oh, before I forget, uh, if you want to ask questions about Project Zomboid or anything like that, uh, my Discord is always an option. Uh, I'm pretty active on there, and I've been trying to get back on all the comments lately, but I just, I, I don't have, I literally don't have the time in the day. There have been so many good comments. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, I've never, I've never really experienced this much uh, growth and improvement over one time in my channel, so I'm really glad that so many of you guys like this series. Uh, please check out the, please check out the Floor is Lava one, too. I think that one's going to be fun, and I'll be doing them in conjunction simultaneously. Uh, other than that, I said the Discord. If you want random memes, follow me on Twitter. Sometimes I bicker with Drunk on Life and uh, Ghoul King uh, and Coco Plays. But uh, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy the series. Uh, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.